Hello friends, Umar with you. In the previous video, I told you about simple programming. I also told you that programming is possible with the help of some applications and softwares. Scratch is one of them. In the previous videos, I gave you a basic idea about Scratch. In this video, I would be telling you about the motion block menu in Scratch and all the blocks that come under the motion block menu. Without wasting time, let's begin. As you all can see, this is the motion block menu and these are the blocks that come under the motion block menu. Without wasting time, let's begin with the explanation of all these blocks. But before beginning, let me just tell you about the shape and color of these blocks. The motion blocks are medium blue in color and have a notch at the top and a bump at the bottom. Now let's start. With move 10 steps, let me tell you what you can do. You can make a sprite move certain steps forward or certain step backwards. As you can see, the sprite is moving forward. But if I just put a minus sign before the value, it will start moving backwards. Next block on our list is the turn 15 degrees clockwise block. With the help of this block, you can turn a sprite 15 degrees or you can just turn a sprite clockwise. You can even change the value from 15 to 30 or 45 or the required value. But let me just show you how it works. You can see that the sprite is turning clockwise. Now the next block on our list is turn 15 degrees anti-clockwise. With the help of this block you can turn a particular sprite 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees or even 360 degrees anti-clockwise. Let me show you. Next block on our list is point in direction 90 block. With the help of this block you can make a sprite face to the right side, to the left side, upwards or downwards. Next block on our list is point towards mouse pointer block. With the help of this block you can make the sprite point towards a certain object. Let me show you. Wherever I am taking the mouse, the sprite is facing towards that direction only. Next block on our list is the go to x0, y0 block. With the help of this block, we can take our sprite anywhere on the stage. I told you that the stage is divided into four quadrants because of an X axis which is a horizontal line across the stage and a Y axis which is a vertical line across the stage. The point where they both meet is known as the origin. It is the center of the stage. At the origin, the value of X axis and Y axis is 0, 0. But we can take our sprite anywhere with the help of this block. Let me just show you. block is really very helpful to all of us. Next block on our list is go to dash. With the help of this block, our sprite will go anywhere we want. Because we are not having any other sprite, so we are having only the option to make the sprite go towards the mouse pointer. It is very similar to point towards mouse pointer block as it also attracts the sprite towards a particular object but instead of pointing the sprite towards that object the sprite just goes towards that direction let me just show you my mouse is over here and sprite is over there just see it is really very helpful for making of interactive stories and game creation now let's move on the next block and the next block on our list is glide dash seconds to x dash and y dash. Let me just change the value 
to x0 and y0 and show you it works like this it is very similar to the go to x dash and y dash block but instead of just going directly to the position it glides to that position let me just show you again now let's move on the next block next block on our list is change x by 10 block with the help of this block we can make a sprite move 10 step forwards on the x axis or 10 step backwards on the x axis as we know that x axis is a horizontal line across the stage hence with the help of change x by 10 block we can only make our sprite move forward or backward let me just show you but if i add a minus sign before the value then it will move backwards next block on our list is set x to 0 is the next block on our list with the help of this block we can specify the x value of the sprite which means that we can tell the sprite that on which point of the x axis it has to go let me just show you the sprite has changed its location and went to x0 the point where the value of x is 0 in the same manner if i type over here 23 then it will go to the place where the value of x axis would be 23 next block on our list is change y by 10 block change y by 10 block this block is just like the change x by 10 block but because y axis is a vertical line across the stage hence it allows movements either upwards or downwards let me just show you if the value is positive then the sprite will move upwards but if the value is negative then it will move downwards next block on our list is set y to dash block with the help of this block we can make the sprite move anywhere on the y axis in short we can specify the location of the y axis let me just show you how it works this is how it works and next block on our list is if one edge bounce block is next on our list let me just show you how it works for example i am dragging my sprite to the edge of the stage and then clicking on this block the sprite will bounce if it touches to the edge of the stage next block on our list is set rotation style left to right don't rotate all around let me show you how it works it will set the rotation style of the sprite either left to right or don't rotate or all around set x position block is the next block of our list it will tell me that what is the x position of my sprite let me just show you how it works i am clicking on it and it is telling the x position of the sprite the next block on our list is the y position block it will tell me the y position of the sprite let me just show you how it works telling me that the y position of the sprite is zero the last block on our list is the direction block this block will tell me that in which direction the sprite is facing the sprite is facing in direction 90 thank you everyone for watching the whole video please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends and like the video also thank you